Hi everybody, thanks for coming back. I'm continuing um, my happy mail that I received from um, my wonderful uh, scrappin' sister Paula at um, short and scrappy 65.blogspot.com which I will put her info in the description um, below. Paula had sent me a tremendous um, amount of uh, goodies and um, I just sincerely loved everything that she gave me. She's a tremendous person. Um, this is a stamp set by Stupendous. Stampendous. As you can see, really cute. A memo, to do, note, um, arrows, spiral note. And uh, it looks like the remember. I'm not sure I haven't taken it off, but it looks like it could be separate to where you could change and put whatever saying that you wanted for your uh, journaling spot. So that's great. And then this one is really cute. This one has a friend, thank you, just for you, hello, smile, and like a little bit of a journaling line, and they would be so cute off the edge of a tag. They're uh, sunflowers and the leaves and their saying. So that's really cute. And then I told her I was wanting to um, do a wedding album out of the graphic 45 paper I've never done anything with and that I thought the old jalopy would be cute as like the old fashioned, um, the car you leave when you get married. So she had sent me a Tim Holtz die of the jalopy. Oh my goodness. Tremendous gifts. And then she had sent me these um, neat they're uh, blocks that you use to apply your clear stamp sets on and it has this nice handle that can come off and then you can put it on the other stamping blocks. There's three sizes. And then she sent me a bunch of um, bingo cards that she has um, put off in three different colors, like pink, cream, white, uh, the craft, and they say grow faith, home, lucky, live, adore. So I have uh, bingo cards. And then she has made them into um, different sizes from small to uh, large. So I have them in different colors. And then um, back here, um, I don't only really have bingo cards, but I have um, different, different uh, journaling um, tags. I'm sure she's probably made them and then uh, photocopied them off at some point, but that's that's great. Okay. Then um, she cut out a bunch, or no, she didn't cut out, she um, actually traced. Uh, Paula has a tremendous amount of um, die cuts and Cricut cartridges, and I don't, so she has went through her stash of um, die cuts, and she traced off for me so I would have my own pattern, which this is a very large um, dress form really cute and then um, I have different die cuts of um, butterflies which I'm going to get ready to use on a project that I'm making for um, a mini album partner that I have at um, MAS and then she sent me the uh, top hat from Alice in Wonderland which is three pieces and this is so cute for um, a, um, like a wedding gift or a prom gift or quinceanera, whatever you have. It's a ball gown and it is different types of shoes dye, which is how adorable is that. And then here is a tremendously big corset. And then uh, down here in the corner she has a teapot dye for me. And then uh, this one has uh, multiple 
things on it like I have um, another dress form that she has done off a bird a butterfly an owl a tree and then wings so that is uh, great a lot of um, shapes that I can use and make and use my own pattern oh my gosh um, then she had made me this um, cute little matchbook and she has this on her blog and uh, she has made the flowers and it's got bling very cute and then I love her um, stamp so then inside when you open up the matchbook she has made me a bunch of stick pins how beautiful is that such a cute and creative idea way this would make a a wonderful gift or a selling tool for uh, selling your stick pens but isn't that beautiful and then um, I have my card that she made me I'm not gonna open it up and read it because it's her note to me but isn't that she stamped this on canvas and she stickled and then she has an element around one of the bingo and I love the stamp then it says friends and then she has done a beautiful job of um, a glimmer mist here on the background stamp it's a beautiful color and then she actually has made the envelope such a talented talented lady then um, let me show you the flowers. A couple of them has kind of come loose, but she sat one day and she has this on her blog as well. And she has made me like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen different colors of these paper flowers, and they are gorgeous. Just a beautiful. Paula is a very talented lady. wonderful thank you so I have already homemade flowers um, ready for me to use on um, my projects so I'm very appreciative of that let me start the um, bag of bling I have uh, only about two minutes so I'll start through and then I'll have to have part three sorry uh, she gave me a tremendous amount of uh, bling and goodies that I'd like to show you sorry this one is a white one I've uh, used a little bit out of there for a project that I was working on because I've had my box um, I don't know I'd say close to a week and I have not been very diligent about getting the video made just because I've been so busy. So I have lots and lots of bling. ones I'm excited I have a project that I'm using with bees so I was so happy to get those because I was looking for all items with bumblebees on them but I have these beautiful flowers I'm trying sorry I'm trying to rush through here and show to you because I'm past the nine minute mark but I just wanted to show you all of the blank I mean not just one or two pieces but tremendous amount of bling and then these are the reinforcers by Tim Holtz and then I have these two humongous sheets of bling 
Aren't those gorgeous? I had never seen anything so big before. And there's like two long sets of those. Thank you.